there are certain factors that can affect the rate of cellular respiration. Okay, the first one and one of the most important ones is temperature. Now this is in relation to enzymes. Enzymes function at a certain temperature. Anything above their optimum range will mean that the protein becomes denatured. It means that the substrate can no longer bind to the active site of the uh, enzyme itself and it can't function properly. Now, cellular respiration is an enzyme controlled reaction. That's why temperature is a really important uh, factor that can affect the rate. Uh, the second one here is the state of the cell, so whether it is working or whether it is dormant, that can be one of the factors. Uh, the next one being oxygen availability. Now we've looked at aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Remember that with anaerobic respiration, only two ATP molecules are produced, whereas with aerobic respiration, 38 ATPs are produced. So if we've got more oxygen, it means that we're going to have more oxygen being produced. So oxygen availability being one of the factors that can affect the rate. Okay, uh, the fourth one is glucose availability. This basically means that if organisms don't have enough food okay, or, or enough glucose, it means that they can't have enough energy for them to function properly. I'm sure we've all been in a situation where we haven't had enough food and we feel tired and are unable to um, run um, or anything like that. And the last one here is pH. Okay, pH um, affects enzymes and it does have an overall effect on um, the rate of cellular respiration.